Anu Kumu, the latest in the entertainment world. And winter is here and so is war, right? You're happy today, Trevor, I know. Because you just told me Game of Thrones <laughs> is coming back. <laughs> it's one of my hook. favorites. Yes, I know today you're not going to take swipes at me because I know almost everything about Game of Thrones. Don't be so sure. Bring it up. Let's do it. Anyway, your winter <laughs> is upon us and all you lovers of Game of Thrones, you best be prepared. July seems so far away, but it's finally here and we can't wait for season 7 to start. I know I speak for most of you, right? Now the season finale that is season 8 will be the shortest ever, but the team behind the HBO series has a better way of making, uh, making it up to you. Each of the six episodes will run close to eight to 90 minutes in length, making the season feel like it was closer to eight or nine episodes instead of the six. Of the six, that is according to Game of Thrones sound designer Paul Paula Fairfield. Season seven finale will run for 82 minutes, so the countdown continues. 11 days to go. We are looking out to the King's Landing for Daenerys Tomborn of House Targaryen, aka Maga, Mother of Dragons, aka Khaleesi of the Great Grass Sea, and her meeting with the King of the North, aka Jon Snow, who we found out was secretly the son of Lyanna Stark and Rhaegar Targaryen. And for the first time, we will have a Mad Queen from the House Lannister, that's Kaisit Lannister, and just like her father Tywin. So prepare for winter.